button. Oh yeah, this is kind of loud here in my ear. Hey there, everyone! This is Alcal playing Cave Story. The story of a cave! What they don't tell you about with that title is that said cave is huge, containing multiple buildings and like at least one military grade thing. Anyway, I rescued this man. Give me this back. Using your scooter! Yeah, that's right, right there. See, I, uh, I knew there was gonna be a scene, that's why they gave us a save right before this. Oh, I don't get to ride? No, I thought... Don't I get to ride? I guess I don't. Oh, dang it! So there is nothing! I could have just kept going. I was fooled, I guess. Frogalog, I was fooled! Oh, how, how, how am I... How is this working? Right, you know what? I don't need to fight y'all, y'all. I kind of don't want to. Alright, so, uh... I guess I have to manually hoof it out, which, okay, sure. This is that my most powerful foe ever? Uh, I kind of didn't expect that. And, uh, okay, so yeah, heading out. Like, do I need to be? No, I don't. Honestly, given that I'm in the area, I think I should get another bottle of juice. Like, what if I'm counter in the future? another one of, uh, another fireplace or source of fire that needs to be, you know, unfired. Uh, apparently all the jellyfish juice is gonna do it and it's literally on my way. I did that super bad. I went into full-on, yeah, I'm not gonna even try mode. And the game rewarded me! Oh, that's the scooter. It crashed right here. Well, that's silly. Look at what you did. Look at what you did, you idiots. If I want to go to Arthur's house, that is where I will be. And everyone's gonna be here? Oh. Biological weapons, huh? That's why you got that whole duck form. Red flowers to make you attack the humans. Uh, Okay, okay, that makes sense. Demon man. So they let her out of cage during all this. They kind of just worked it out. Uh... Yeah, so, um, so one of the guys said that uh, flowers was instant death. But I wonder if it's ego death. Because the house where I fought, like, a mini hooked out version of them, there were flowers around their bed, right? So, yeah. So, with those red flowers, it kills them mentally. And they just become this monster. This, like, berserk force. Okay. Alright, well, that conversation was happening. Meanwhile, we're over here. Oh! There's flowers right here in the basement, too. They're just kind of leaving that there. Oh my god. It's like you knew. And she knows Professor Booster. Yeah, there's now way many more strangers here, King. <laughs> you gotta have to just kind of deal with that. Used to be tons of meme guys devolved and converted into <laughs> weapons, I guess. Oh, that's terrible. Check it out, it's me! That guy! I'm the protagonist, an essential force in the story going on here! <laughs> I mean, you got it. You got to, like, a horde of animals. Alright, don't do something soon. Oh, I hop back to this side. <laughs> My brother's help. We should be able. So, yeah, so brother of human and Mimiga. Right. Gonna take this little guy. Where we go? Of course. 
What's going on now? Okay, doctor has located the red flower. Oh, yeah, they're in the basement. I mean, they're red flowers. Doesn't mean they are the red flowers. Ah, so is that why you teleported here? To warn the crew here. Hey, they got the flowers. Okay. Sand zone. <laughs> We're going into Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Okay, okay, so it's specific red flower, not just flowers I read. That would be silly. Yeah, like misery or something. So there's just like one specific patch of flowers for that? That's right, this guy. It's one of the armed scout robots. That, oh, I'm a robot. <laughs> a bit more advanced than a cat bot that made the bomb. But armed scout robot that were dispatched to this island 10 years. So I guess I messed up my scouting mission and just kind of got like, sort of like, turned off in a cave, and then, for some reason, I turned back on. Fair enough, uh... Do not know the particulars. Uh, one of them could have me! Alright, good thing we got this teleport here. This isn't really a Metroidvania. Like, this has discrete levels. Give us your aid. All right, I'll talk to King too. The sand zone. And my health and missiles are refilled. Unbelievable. Want to talk to me about the sand zone? Find a red flowers and sand zone. Get rid of the flowers. We'll be able to prevent the war. All right. Hell yeah. Yeah, you just called me like a, a young man all this time. Turns out I was a robot. Here's a skull. Kind of looks like Crocmire's skull. Yes, I do want to go to the sand zone. It sounds it sounds like Sonic the Hedgehog, but yeah, here we go. Is this all the same cave? Yeah. Well, there's that hopping crocos. You're the girl that's like on all the promo material <laughs> that we hadn't encountered yet. You're in the fighting game. Forgot your name though. Check it out, it's sand. Uh, what with sand of the sand zone. Well, welcome to platforming. This music just took a turn for the Mega Man. We got like Maverick Swamps, except they're very ineffective, and also they can just be shot, which adds to their ineffectiveness, not gonna lie. Oh, I fell though. No, that kind of thing's gonna happen. And here's the wine country building. There's a bar, sand zone residence. Everyone's chilling. Or being dead, one or the other. Wow, that smile. <laughs> you are hype. Amigos, uh, Aaron, you're. Aunt, no, I know. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh. So that's like a crazed, manic smile, not a happy smile. Okay, I guess we're fighting. I'd rather not hurt the Mimigas. Okay, the Mimigas do contact damage. Wait, can I just... Oh, you know what, I'm just gonna fight, man. Whoops, I jumped bad. I might die. I might die. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I did die. Hell yeah. Whoa, that music. <laughs> ha! 
How did the miss? Oh, well. So you have specifically missile protection. That's rude. So I am super hurting the minigas here. I don't know if you've noticed. It's like the opposite of what I said that I wanted to do, but she's using them like as meat shield. It's very mean. Like, you sound like you like them, but yeah, you're using them for your protection. Like, you're just swimming in them. Like... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you should not jump to conclusion. <laughs> Never once stands back up. <laughs> <laughs> Curly Brace! Okay. Oh, hey. Hi. Oh, that's funny. It's a pun. As with these children. Nice shot, Oliver. <laughs> okay, so a similar situation to me. Considering you also have a uh, Hidamari sketch face, I'm assuming you're also a scout robot? Okay, yeah, like the other robots. So you are aware of your robotness. Uh. Sure. Ah, I like it. I, I, I mean, mm. sure. Polar Star now replaced by machine gun. So everyone is okay now. Oh, so it has. I mean, this is like how I like to use the bubbler, honestly, more than anything. Zrumbo! You would like a fish. To lift the spell. Sunstone spell, huh? Yeah, I am aware. For some reason, they made biological weapons that are super cute and friendly before they activate it. Ah, I guess that would make sense, because you would want your bio force to be. You know, nice before you unleash them on whatever your target is. Sounds great. Name Jenka. Alright, if you go to see her, you ought to bring along the dog next to the bed. There's a dog? Oh, there is a dog. It is a cute little guy. Yes, I will save. Uh, check it out, it's Dog! Arf! Well, yeah, I'm gonna go and see Jenka. Puppy! <laughs> That's me, puppy head. <laughs> okay, she does not react to me wearing a dog as a hat. Got it. <laughs> Fish! Fish! Alright, so I thought that you would want to hurt the Mimigas in the fight, but they did not care. Right, now I got a level 1 little gun. I mean, it's possible that Curly Brace has scammed me and I got a worse weapon, but I don't know yet. So there's like a head there. There's the sun. Oh, we've got a puzzle. Can I destroy the sun? Who has not wished to destroy the sun? That is just a purely... Whoa, now you split into all the mini suns. Luckily, I can hide here and let it rain. Let the gold fall on my head. Okay, so here you gotta be careful about how you destroy walls. Because you gotta give yourselves a stairs. Uh, something like that. Here we go, you, you can get the health. The life capsule is mine. It is mine. That's accurate. Max health! Yeah! <laughs> destroy everything. Oh, and there's. Okay. That's the sand crocs or whatever, right? So it just, yeah, it's just kind of like, oh, check out, it's me! I'm green and mighty. I, were you, I think you guys were also in that Cave Story Smooth X production, Smooth production level, right? Yeah, and the tail was the skeleton. Oh, I'm empty. So this has ammo. That's a decision. Why would you design your weapon to have ammo? Ridiculous. So here I go, I'm gonna shoot this crack. It's not gonna do much. 
Okay, see, I was wondering if there would be other, like, upgrades uh, hidden away. That's not an upgrade, that's just a straight up, just health refill that I don't know if I need. I am loving this weapon, though. <laughs> so there's a spinny thing up there, don't think I didn't see you, it's a save. Uh, interesting. Yeah, you cannot see jump in this game, buddy. Self. Uh, okay, so, like, how would you get up there? Is this one that- Oh, there's a paw here. Welcome to Paw Zone! Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, and that lets you skip these spikes and go back here. Welcome to the Sunblade! The magnificent Sunblade! The blade of the sun, it's gonna run around all over the walls! Well, I'm gonna keep that Sunblade in that box. There's no reason to pop them up. They're kind of dangerous. Alright, then I can fight that one hidden my little alcove! Alcove video game, I now have a max level gun. Alright, so the game expects you to have struggled a little bit. Give them, they give you a health refill right here. Don't need them. Okay, I can see the swamp. Do you think they'll be activated? Uh, no. They need to be freeze so that they can fall. Something good to keep in mind. Check out out, it's the sand! I see Balrog fail in his duty. Hey, Misery. I got a dog on my head. Do you? Your skin is like the skin of a Mimigo. Like, no real facial structure. Very white skin. Like, compared to Kazuma, who has more of a earth human, like, shape and, uh, shade. Yeah, I don't know. There's, like, a lot of bio biology. This juncture. Proving yourself rather a nuisance. Oh, you're getting psyched, too. You got the curly brace face. Uh-oh. Uh I think we're getting interrupted. Okay. Oh, hi. It's the Croco thing. I don't know. Okay, I can shoot you no problem. And that is pretty good. All right. So big, like a whole chunk of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and use missiles on you, like if I can. Seems ridiculous not to. I am bad with hitting with missiles, though. Hey, you're here. And uh, I'm here. Yeah. So you get hit by a missile and you give up. Interesting that a lot of bosses here seems to be built precisely to counter the missile. Almost as an admission that, you know, they're kind of strong. Okay, so, lesson learned. Uh, keep the missile launcher for the second phase. Alright, well, I'll, oh shoot. The sand dude kind of like ate all my shots there. Alright. Alright, that doesn't seem too bad. Like, you're trying your best there, Sand Defense Force. It's just not very good, but you know, I appreciate you giving your best. Uh, did the puppy enjoy the ride? Uh, that was Omega! Oh, Omega. Time was not friendly to Omega. Spell of the Sunstone has been... What's that about? <laughs> I mean, what a Mimiga is mentioning that, but... Yo, I can fly! <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay, upgrade worth it. <laughs> I can just fly now. Yo! I was about to say that, see, the, there it's even set up to show that, but no. You could just take the lower route. You do not indeed need to fly to get here, but... I should destroy poor missile refill, honestly. Yeah, so this is like the parts I like about uh, the um, bubbler, but like better. Yeah, it's just that you can't trust the state of a weapon at like level one, you know? You gotta get a level three to really get a sense of what it's about. Wanna do a jump and I did. So there were blocks with the sun pattern on them. There you go, you had to be shot, you gotta had to be booped a little bit to, you know, get you to react a little, huh? 
Get out of your stupor! There we go. That's platforms with the sun. Oh, hey, they're gonna be cut. I thought I'd just go through them. Turns out they have a whole move aside thing going on. Well, there's a puppy zone right here. Welcome to a little puppy paw place where you can run and go and go forever. Where there's a life upgrade. I music. I got the music wrong. Max health, though. It's a dog. And the chest reclo. Hmm. Okay. So that's why that they go out of their way to show you the dog on your head, huh? It's because to indicate that, you know, you are a one dog man. <laughs> Dumb sentence I just said, but you get it. Oh, well, I didn't realize we kind of just looped around here. Hey, it's Jenka. I got a dog on my head. What are you gonna do about that, old lady? It's your precious puppy! Rod and Mac, uh, I did. Did you not see me enter your house? Red flowers. Huzzah! Oh man, what is he doing here? Yeah, bark him away, dog. Oh, so they know each other. Well, that's awkward. I wish I had saved them. That's interesting. Ha ha ha. Okay, I bet you gotta get dog. Cause the other dog was identical. But later. <laughs> it's a later regret. Actually, four others. Four more puppers. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh. You know what? I bet that may land me a key of some kind if I do that. Nothing in the fireplace. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get the puppy I literally just saw. And I'm gonna guess that the other puppies are gonna be further in the level. And so, uh... That's how we're gonna start tomorrow. Although I guess here, like, there's a puppy block. So, like, I wonder... Like, you know, like, there's like a literal, like, paw print, right? Can you jump up here? No. The only reason the camera went up there is because I moved the camera up. Here we can see that he's bopping his head. Okay, yeah, just trying to navigate the space here. That's right, it's a dog! Got the poppy. Puppy power. That's a thing, right? I don't know what this is a thing of. I think it's Scrappy Doo's thing, actually. Well, check it out, I got dog number two. Uh, yeah, that's indeed one of your identical puppy. That's what they tell me. Hundreds of robots like you came to this island. Hundreds? Huh. Yeah, that tracks. Man, okay, I, <laughs> I missed out on all of that. Wait, three more? Oh, you got five puppies. Well, I guess we know what we're gonna be doing next time. Gonna go on a puppy search. There's the, there's a, there's a probability that at the other, I don't know if a new puppy would manifest where I went through another paw path. Like that's, I feel like that would be kind of lame and weird, but it's a possibility. 